Dun, 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 dun. It's time for a nose tutorial that I procrastinated on for like probably about a year now, but we're ready. Those the the other tutorials I've made are pretty outdated by now, so I might update them eventually, but not right now because I'm busy as heck. But noses, we all knows what they are. They've got nostrils, preferably two. The main thing about noses is that they're made out of triangles. Think like Jasper from Steven Universe and with her gem nose going on here. That's actually pretty true to uh, true to life. If we want to look at a nose in kind of a 3D shape kind of way, Jasper's nose is a pretty good leaping point. So we've got our, uh, our gem here. And this part right here is what marks the apex of the nose, or the vertex, or, you know, that little ball that you've got. And you can do the fancy thing where you kind of sketch out a little bit of a circle there and round this out here. And then erase some stuff because we don't need it. So now we've got this, like, weird, I don't know, Assassin's Creed logo looking thing going on. Oh, also, if you need my brush settings, I will put them in the description. So now that we've got our weird ball and crosshairs, we can place our nostrils. And since noses have so much diversity, there are so many different places that you can put nostrils. I mean, not like up here or anything, but the placement of everything is easily changed in a nose. So let's just put them about right here, right in the middle of these spaces. So now we've got those nostrils there and we'll erase some stuff. But I'll, I'll try to keep the circle in there, though. This line here marks, you know, the, the center point of the nose, where you might have your uh, your bridge or maybe even a little broken point. That's how you draw a broken point. Or just someone who's got a cinch nose. So, now we've got something that's actually kind of slightly resembling a nose. If we erase this bottom part especially. And then, this part down here, um... What is it called? Septum? I believe that's a septum, because you know you get your septum pierced. This part also has a lot of variety. You can put it up there, you can put it down here, and make it a little bit, like, stretchier. Looks like you, uh, basically just looks like you stretched it this way. Um, you can also make it so that you can barely see it at all. And just have, uh, this part hanging over like an overhang? Hanging over like an overhang. Oh, I got some good quotes, don't I? And it also depends on the angle that you're looking from. This is more what it would look like if you're looking from above. So we can actually see, you know, just the top here. But if we wanted to be able to see the nostrils, we would have to put our nostrils a little, or put the, the sides here a little bit lower and erase this part and make your little nostrils here. Like I said, there are so, so, so many ways to draw noses. So that's the, that's, you know, the front. But what if we want to draw a nose from the side? Well, buddy, you're out of luck because I don't fucking know how to draw a nose from the side. Just kidding. I, can't, I have a vague idea. Let's go with our Jasper nose again. Like this. Yeah, yeah, that, that looks right, right? Sure. We'll go with that. So, now that our... <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Now that our Jasper nose is in place, we can follow the steps from the previous thing. And nostrils, not only can they be... Not only can they be positioned in a lot of ways, they can also be shaped a lot of ways. Like, it can be like this, or they can be like this, or they can be like this, or they can be like... This. They can be a whole lot of different ways. Just put her. You know what? You know what? Just make your nostril shaped like this. It'll probably help you smell better. Maybe. But let's just go with this one that's curved up near the front. And then you've got your septum here, but we don't want our septum to just go straight down like that. So we'll add a little bit of curve right here, and a little bit of racy racy. Good. Yeah. And roundy round. I have some really, really good commentary kicking, don't I? Uh, 
ba. And then once again, place our nostril over this way and erase some more stuff. I swear to God, half of drawing is just erasing. So there's that. It, you can keep this unattached and you can also attach it like this. And some people just don't um, do that part at all. Like they just leave out the side of the nostril, um, which th you can do that, especially when you're shading because you have uh, usually a shaded area right here that'll separate your actual nose from your cheek. If that makes sense. I don't know, I don't know. So now that we know how to kind of draw them, let's try painting one. Why the fuck not? Let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's do it, man. If any of you are trying to do this along with me, I am so, so sorry. We draw our nose, and when, once you practice it a lot, it'll be probably easier, you know, to do it without doing the Jasper nose first. I eh, don't like that. As you probably noticed, I've backtracked a lot in this episode, like, undo, undo, undo. And retrying things and messing up, because that's, you know, that's normal. No matter how good you are at art, you're gonna mess up. That's just the way it is. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Put my nostril too far up on the nose. Okay. No, I don't like that either. Eh. Okay, close enough. So, shading is what we will work on first. Stop! Stop messing with the nose! Stop it! Stop it, Kiwi! Stop! Just stop! You gotta learn how to stop. My mother always told me from the time I was a teeny tiny little bird, she said, a good artist always knows when to stop. Which I guess would make me a bad artist because I mess with stuff until the day ends. But we're just gonna use flat colors, like black, uh, for this because I don't feel like actually coloring it. But you get your little curve going on here and a curve going on here. And there usually isn't a whole lot of shading above the nostril. Um, but we'll, we'll deal with that a little bit later. But for right now, just curve your shadow up into the crease of the nostril and up over the, I don't know, the ball of the nose. <laughs> Once again, people are probably screaming at me in the comments like, Kiwi, you don't know anatomy of the face? No, I don't. So we've got our little shadow, and I like to add another one right here that's a little bit lower and also goes below like this to show the dimension of the nose, like that it's actually poking out off the face. You can jab someone with it. Man dead in nose stabbing. Close enough. And now for the, the smaller little minute shading. I got my acrylic brush, but it, you could probably use anything you wanted, to be honest. Um, make it a lot less opaque, eh. and put down the bridge of your nose. And the bridge of your nose will kind of branch out right here where your eyebrows would be. And then some bridges, or th I think this is the bridge and this is not the bridge, but once again, me not knowing anything. Now your bridge can do this but you would also have to adjust this line right here to be out more, so we're just gonna make this kind of straight. And then when it gets down here, you blend it into that nose ball that I was talking about, and probably define the nostril on the side here a little bit more. And make it a little bit darker right here. Good, yeah, we did it. Uh, and now I'm just gonna go over all of this with a little bit of shading. Um, so that we can see where the highlights are because everything is white right now. Okay, that's good enough. Um, now with highlights, once again using my acrylic brush, but the, the harder the, the brush is, and acrylic is pretty soft, but something like my paper brush is a lot harder than my acrylic brush. See? Um, the harder your brush is, the shinier it'll look and the more wet it'll look. So stay away from that if you don't want it to look wet. But I love making skin look oily and wet and sweaty. I think it's awesome. But we'll put a little bit of a uh, light bridge from the nostril onto the nose ball. And turn down the pissy a little bit. And combine. And then we'll also do one mostly shiny up towards the top here and kind of tapering off. And then super shiny right here. And probably my absolute favorite part is putting the really shiny parts. Like right here, right now, <laughs> like right here, and right here. I don't know, I just, I love it when stuff is shiny. 
I absolutely love shiny shit. I don't know. Maybe I'm a fish. Or I guess birds like shiny stuff, don't they? So, yeah, that's that's pretty close to, I'd say, a standard nose that I draw every day. If you want to get really fancy with it, you can um, put a little bit of shading right here and then take your brush and blend it out only on one side. Be careful not to get over here, but just on this side, um, which you probably have to use a really small brush for or just have a really careful hand. And then that'll give it a little bit more dimension. See? 3D, not 3D. 3D, not 3D. 3D, not 3D. I have a lot of fun, don't I? Yay! We did it! You're now an expert nose builder. Um, this one was actually pretty short. Uh, and not as stressful as I thought it would be, but in... We'll see how this looks in the morning. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Hopefully another tutorial, but don't hold me to that, because as we all know, I'm... who I am not good at time. But anyway, later tater.